Oh, you're only so lucky. So ladies and gentlemen, now that we're going to be talking, now that I kind of talked about component forms, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start kind of utilizing our component forms, our vectors. So let's say we have two vectors, u and we have v. All right, and let's say u and v are two component vectors, um, are two vectors on the same plane. OK, so and that's u. Now, we don't really need to know exactly what they are, but we know that they're in their component form because they have an initial point at 0, 0, right? Then they have our two terminal points. So what if I was going to say now, I want to figure out what is u plus v. Okay? So to figure out what u plus v is, what we're going to do is we're going to transpose one, to one, um, one vector to the end of the other vector. So I'm going to just try to do my best here. Okay. Or we could do it the other way. So we could put a new v here. Or you could transpose u to the end of v. Okay. So when you're adding two vectors, right? it doesn't matter. If I do 3 plus 4 is the same as 4 plus 3, right? So it doesn't matter if I add u to the end of v or if I add v to the end of u. But what you're going to do is you're going to take it the, now, the initial point of one vector and put it at the end of your terminal point of your other vector. Then what you'll have is a resultant vector which is going to be u plus v. Did everybody say that? So how do we um, algebraically kind of represent this? Well, if I have u plus v, what that simply is going to do is just say that's going to mean um, u1 plus v1, comma, u2 plus v2. Okay. Then let's just go ahead and take a look at this as kind of like a um, in a subtraction part. All right. If you're going to look at subtraction, your subtraction of your vectors, if I was going to say, what is u minus v? Well, you guys can obviously relate to that. all right. But there's a couple things. When we're looking at u minus v, now what we're going to do is rather than taking our terminal side and put our initial side and put it at the end of our terminal side, now what we're going to be doing is looking at the difference between our two vectors. All right, And what we could do is you could even also transpose this, our v, take the end of this initial side and then you can see now again that again you have, well, that now you're going to have your u, your minus your v. OK? If you have your u minus your v, when you take your u plus your v, you're taking one term. And you're just, it doesn't matter if you add both to each one, right? But if I'm going to say u minus v, you take your resultant u, OK? And what you're going to do is you're just going to look at it and and what you're doing is you're just going to look at from their two terminal ends, the difference between those two, that's going to be your u minus your v. All right? So when looking at this, well, if you understand, when you add them up, you add the x's and the y's. So now with our subtraction, we're going to do, be doing the exact same thing. So now it's just going to be u sub 1 minus v1, comma, u sub 2 minus v2. So you're just following the same patterns that you're going to be working with, with addition and subtraction. All right.
The one thing I just want you guys to understand, when adding vectors, you're just adding one vector to the next. But when you're looking at the difference, subtracting, you're looking at the difference between on there two terminal ends. Okay? So you can look at it from both of those. You could either retransform that and then kind of look at the difference either your terminal sides or of your um, initial sides. Mm -hmm. We don't really need the graph, we just need graph I'm just points. using the graphing just so you okay. can get a visual representation okay. of it. That's it. That's all you really need to understand with that. So I'm going to show you the graphing.